And so you might ask why I'm here today, an embarrassment to parenthood and to the American educational system, why I'm here to give you, fine students, a commencement speech. Well, frankly, I've been paid very, very good money to come here to tell you things that your parents, frankly, don't have the courage to say to you. For example, if you are graduating today and you are the oldest sibling in your family to graduate, then it is perfectly acceptable for you to stay at home until August when the college fall semester begins. However, if you are the youngest sibling in your family to graduate, you need to leave. Not in August, <laughs> not next week, but immediately following the ceremony. In fact, you will find that your tank of gas is full and that there are 10 days of provisions in the trunk of your car, and with any luck, you can be in Tucson by tomorrow afternoon. Your parents are exhausted. They have not had a decent night's sleep in over two decades. You are the only thing standing between your parents and a completely pantless household. <laughs> As we speak, there are experts at each of your homes changing all of the locks. Did you know that graduation day is the busiest day for locksmith companies? Google it. Do we have any gamers here? Fortnite, Apex. I'm a, uh, I'm a Call of Duty Black Ops guy myself. Numerous deployments and tours of duty, proud to have served. Um, that said, any video gamer worth his broadband will tell you that at the end of every video game level, there's this thing called a boss. And this boss is put there to make your life difficult. They put obstacles in your path. They put traps. They release minions. They have insidious plans. You die. A lot. Over and over and over. In fact, after a while, dying can become pretty frustrating. But as you go, you gain more and more power. You gain more and more experience. Ultimately, if you persist, at the end of the level, you finally confront the boss. If and when you defeat that boss, you quickly learn there's another harder level just past them. An even more powerful boss at the end of that level. And again, and again, and again. But of course, that's the point of the game, right? I mean, it wouldn't be very fun if you bought a brand new video game only to find out that the first level is easy to blow through and you get to the end and you've already beat it. You'd feel scammed. You'd feel ripped off. Unfortunately, that's the way too many people approach the game of life. We race so quickly through every stage, grabbing prizes and gold coins. We tell ourselves we'll be happy once we get whatever's waiting for us in that next treasure chest. I'll be happy if I get a girlfriend. I'll be happy if I get a boyfriend. I'll be happy if I get an iPhone. I'll be happy if I can drive that fancy new car, move into that bigger apartment, or move into that bigger house. Well. In most games, there's usually some strange, creepy old sage standing on the side of the road who will give you special knowledge and power-ups. He gives you advice that will help prepare you for the long and difficult journey ahead of you. Well, kiddos, today I am the strange, creepy old sage in the game of your life. <laughs> and I'm afraid I have some very bad news for you. The road ahead is not going to be easy. There will be times you'll be without money, unsure how you're going to pay your bills, you're going to make humiliating and embarrassing mistakes at work, in your relationships, sometimes in public parks. <laughs> People you love are going to break up with you. They're going to cheat on you. They're going to leave you behind without a word. They're going to tear your heart out. Throughout your life, you will receive sudden and tragic news. You'll receive terrible news about an illness that you or a loved one has. Sometimes you'll see it coming. Most times it will completely blindside you. This is not God's way of punishing you. This is not life singling you out or treating you unfairly. You are not alone. You are not unlucky. This is the game that we are all playing. These things happen to everyone you know. I have even worse news for you. It never ends. The minute you overcome one challenge, you will be smacked in the face with the next one. It just keeps happening over and over and over until one day you look up and your game is over. I know what you're thinking. This is the most depressing speech ever written in the history of the cosmos. 
But someone has to tell you these things, and I don't have to listen to you sobbing uncontrollably in the back seat on the way home tonight, so they asked me to do it. Even so, in addition to the incredibly inspiring words that I've already shared with you today, I did bring something along special to help you, young Padawans. I'm here to tell you that the game of life has a very special cheat code. This cheat code will make you completely invincible. If you use this power up every day, it is impossible to lose the game of life. Some people try cheat codes like money, power, fame, success, but in life, faster does not always win. Stronger doesn't always win. Smarter doesn't always win. Meaner doesn't always win. Nicer doesn't always win. Better looking doesn't always win. Persistence doesn't always win. Popularity doesn't always win. So, strange, creepy old sage who apparently wants everyone to know he owns a thesaurus, what is this so-called <laughs> ultimate cheat code? The cheat code is happiness. Happiness always wins. You can be flat broke without a possession to your name. You can be living under a bridge down by the river. If you're truly happy though, you still win. You can have no arms, no legs, no hearing, no eyesight. You can be eaten alive with a disease and only days to live, but if you have a smile on your face and genuine happiness in your heart, you still win. It doesn't matter how big or how small your house is. It doesn't matter what kind of car you drive. It doesn't matter how poor your health is. It doesn't matter if you're surrounded by dozens of friends and family members or whether you find yourself all alone in this world. In the game of life, if you're happy, you always win. Too many players rush through level after level, certain that happiness awaits for them in some crate that they get to open right after they conquer the next boss. I'm here to tell you that happiness is not waiting for you on the next level. Happiness is not waiting for you in some magical crate. Happiness is now. Happiness is not something you earn. It's not something you win. It's not something you unlock. Happiness is how you choose to play the game. I leave you today with some wise words from one of the greatest video game players of all time, Henry David Thoreau. He said, <laughs> go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you've imagined. As you simplify your life, the laws of the universe become simpler. As I look around this crowd today, I suspect there are some pretty wild imaginations among us. This is the beginning of an incredibly exciting new level in the game of your life. Don't just accept whatever the boss hands you. Go create the life you want to live. Go create your own happiness. At the end of this game, you will not be judged by how much wealth you've accumulated. You'll be measured by how much happiness you've created. So celebrate all the painful and difficult challenges that life will inevitably put in your way. Get up, wipe the blood off your face, grow stronger, grow smarter, level up but most importantly be happy because in this game happiness is the only score that counts ultimately remember the goal isn't to beat the game of life it's to have fun playing it thank you congratulations <laughs>